Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my daily stock signals video for Monday the 9th of July. I've already covered this particular stock uh, in the weekend Wave 5 Trade um, monthly webinar that I held, but I want to go through this for today's signal. Um, our stocks signals membership, they get potential long and short fifth wave trades on the weekly, daily and the 60 minute time frame. Down here on the right you'll see they also get stochastic long trades in today and stochastic short trades. And it's a very, very simple membership. We give these potential fifth wave trades every single day on downloadable spreadsheets for all time frames. The spreadsheet for today, Monday the 9th of July, looks something like this. Okay, on the weekly, but more, more importantly, I want to concentrate on a potential long trade on the daily. So these are all the potential trades setting up on the daily time frame. Obviously, each day some of these might slightly change or disappear from the list um, or stay on for a week as they're um, forming those support or resistance levels. In this case, they're long, so there's be support levels before they go on to make that new fifth wave high. So it's not a rush. Um, we build up good watch lists with this particular membership. So today I'm going to look at Ralph Lauren. This is on the on the um, spreadsheet for today on the daily time frame. Potential long trade on the fifth for the fifth wave. So the chart. So I'm using the Trade Station version of the Wave Five Wave Five Trade um, Early Wave Indicator Suite. It's also available for multi charts, Think or Swim, and an Ninja Trader. But as I used this example during our uh, support webinar this weekend on TradeStation, I thought I would continue and do the video with it because I don't do many, many videos with this. So with Ralph Lauren, we've had a very big rangey period here. Then we've had this big move out of the range. That's what we're interested in. So our, for, for our members, this is where we isolate the start of this trend at the low on this range before we move out. So we've moved out above this pivot point here and we've continued to go high. It started to pull back. We've come across this trade, this potential trade. We isolate down here. Then our Elliott wave automatically puts the counts in. The one, two, the three, the four. The wave four is what we're really interested in on here. We want to trade the fifth wave and our indicator suite measures how this fourth wave has performed. So then that goes ties in very well with our scanner membership. So our members look for these particular um, three filters that give these results in the scanner membership. The first one is the wave four. So the wave four pulls back and it's, it's hit one of our probability zones. In this case, it's hit the red zone. It's still good as long as it doesn't break this zone. We've started to move away from those lows. So this is a 75% probability that could go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones up here in blue. Okay, uh, we'll talk about entry in a little bit. The next filter is the 535 oscillator. That's pulled back between 90 and 140. Fantastic. The next one is the stochastic. We've had a false breakout dots on the top there in the overbought zone, meaning it's got a strong bullish bias. Okay, and then the stochastic's pulled back against there. The likelihood is it wants to return to that overbought zone, okay, because that's where that strong bullish momentum is. So they, those are three basic main filters for that data, for that stocks membership that we get, and we push those potential fifth ways out every single day on those spreadsheets. To set this up, very simple. We've got the wave four pullback. We've just got to look for a decent entry here. So the stop loss, simple. We're, you know, this is quite an expensive stock. So we've got to be about 10 or 12 cents below that low, that wave four. And then we've got the entry. Now the entry for me is got to be outside our 6.4 moving average high. This green moving average high is part of the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite here. You can see it's a leading. It's in the future. This is for our start point for our entry strategy. Then we've got to be above all of these highs here as we've been coming down. So we're going to go long above the whole $131 mark. So $131.40 is our entry long on Ralph Lauren. Very conservative. Why? We're quite choppy at the moment. We want to make sure that we've pulled away well enough from that wave for low and we start to build up in volume and that momentum starts to build to go long. We've got a great risk reward into our target zone here, one to 2.5 right into the bottom here of $150. 
and you know it could go as much as one to three if we get to one five five dollars on here so great risk reward while still being conservative on this potential long for Ralph the Wren on the daily time frame. This is a swing trade. Usually these take between nine and 20, today, 20 days to, uh, to get to target. But just lately in these volatile times, these Trump tweet times, some, some of these swing trades are taking up to 30 days. So if you're gonna play this by options and we get above 131 and you're looking for an options play, you need to look 30 days in advance for that sort of options play for that expiry, okay? So this is it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.